Okay, today we're going to do an experiment uh, measuring the relationship between the voltage and the current over a resistor. So hopefully this will lead us to plot a graph that shows an ohmic or a non-ohmic resistor and we can discuss it in terms of Ohm's law. So to start off, first of all you need to have a power pack and we'll connect it in DC. We're going to add a switch to our, our circuit. It's always good to have a switch so that if you leave the power pack on, there won't actually be current flowing through the circuit. Sorry, just had an excess crocodile clip there. Okay, our circuit's going to be a very, very simple series circuit. The only other thing we're going to add in just now is the resistor. So this is our resistor here. So we need another wire. I like to use red wires in the circuit and then black wires for the voltmeter just so I can really see where's the components in the circuits and ensure that I'm not putting the voltmeter in the wrong place. So once you've set up your very very simple circuit, so a loop going from here into the resistor then from the resistor to the switch back to the uh, power supply, we need to add in our measuring devices. So the first measuring device we're going to use is our ammeter. This is actually a multimeter, so we can use it to measure voltage or current, but today we're going to use this to measure our current. So remember, an ammeter must always go be added in series into the circuit. So we now need to break up our beautiful circuit that we made. So take one wire out. And remember, the current should be the same everywhere in the circuit. So it doesn't really matter if you put the ammeter in this section, or this section, or the next section of the circuit. It should all be the same. Okay, we're going to put one connection wire in here in the comm. The comm hole is always the one we use. And then we're measuring current. So we're going to put the other one into the one that says amps. And we'll connect that back up to our resistor so we've got again another full beautiful series circuit so just one big loop going on. Now to measure the current we obviously need to turn it on and we're measuring current so we'll turn it to the bit where it says amps on here. Turn it to that side. That means it measures up to 10 amps. That measures in milliamps and that measures in microamps. We'll probably be getting a few amps going through so we'll put it on 10 amps. Next thing we need to do is add in a voltmeter because we're going to measure the voltage across our resistor. So for this we're going to use this multimeter. Again, this can measure um, amps and voltage, but I prefer to use a different meter just to make it a bit clearer. So voltmeters need to be put in parallel with the series with the circuit. Um, so first put one wire in COM. As I said, I use the black wires for the voltmeter so I don't end up putting it in series. Uh, and then one connection wire into the one where it has the, the bit says V in ohms. Okay. Because we're measuring voltage, we're going to turn it towards where the V is and we'll put it up. This measures up uh, in 200 micro uh, milliohms, two ohm, uh, sorry, volts, two mi millivolts, um, 20 volts, 200 volts, 600 volts. Okay, so we just, we'll put it onto the 20 volts. We won't be going higher than 20 volts. Our power supply only goes up to 12. So connection over the resistor in parallel. So you just need to piggyback this in like that back this one in here. We've not broken the circuit this time. Okay, and now we should be able to get some nice reading. I'll just set this up like that so you can see my readings. Okay, so we turn it on. We'll start off with lowest volts, two volts, and obviously you need to use your switch. You can see I'm getting readings from my voltmeter and Armature is not giving me readings. I think the fuse is blown in this lamp. Let's 
try a different one. Still no reading? Don't know what's happening. I have to get back to you on this one. Okay. What you should do then, if you've got an amateur that works, take the readings and then increase the voltage here. Take the readings, increase the voltage, take the new readings. Keep increasing the voltage all the way up to 12 volts. Don't forget you've got to use the switch. And then, um, if you're a really good scientist, you might do the experiment again, or even three times. So you can get an average, take out any anomalies, and then you can plot a graph of voltage against current. And if you plot V on the, your y-axis and your current on your x-axis, then you can just get the resistance by finding the gradient of that line. Okay.